This is a new series for my channel. We'll be Walking Dead audiobooks. No images, sorry for that. Just read along or just listen. Basically, it'll be an audiobook only. Be reading. This is issue number one, The Walking Dead. Uh, written by Robert Kirkman and illustrated by Tony Moore. Of course, you can't really see the illustrations, but if you want to act, see them, go buy the book since I don't have the luxury of showing it. Let's begin. This the chapter or volume is days gone by. This is not good. Guns are getting shot. The cop car. I don't think he's from around here. I think that's a safe bet. When they opened that prison in Grant County, I didn't think we'd be getting their runoffs. I ain't going back. I'll die first. Damn it. Backup's probably more than ten miles away. We're sitting ducks behind this car. Cover me. I'm gonna try to make it, make it to that ditch so we can surround him. The criminal shoots sh the gun out of Shane's hand. Rick! Rick is shot in the top or upper right torso. <gasps> Rick is is wakes up in a hospital bed. He gets rid of his nose plugs. I don't know what they're called. Rick, Rick tries to get out of the bed, but falls over. Nurse! Rick pull, hits the buzzer, but nothing happens. Rick goes to the drawer and pulls out uh, his uh, keys and shirt and stuff. Rick gets out of his bed and starts walking out of the hall. Hello? Hello? Anybody? What the hell? Did everyone just decide to take a break at the same time? Rick's walking for the hallways and goes to the elevator. He opens the door. Walker, Walker flops out. Ah! Help! Somebody help! Anybody! Rick sees a door that's that has a board and handles. What the hell? What happened here? Rick opens the door. The room, there's a room full of walkers. Ugh! Uh, uh, oof. Rick falls over. He crawls backwards. Stop! Get away from me! Can't you understand? Please! Rick's pushed out of the door and falls back on his back. The walker pushes him down the display of steps. Dur during the uh, tumble, the walker breaks, snaps his neck. Oof! Rick goes to another door and ties the, his belt around the door handles to keep the walkers away. What the hell is all that? Rick is in a parking lot, trying to go to the car. Damn! The door won't open. Rick is seen walking out of the hospital. Jesus! There's a car with a walker, a uh, non walker dead person's body out there. Rick's walking down the road. <gasps> there is a bike there's a there's a walker who's looks like he's been starved near a, next to a bicycle. <coughs> the sight of the walker makes Rick cry. Rick takes the bike. Oh god. Rick falls to his knees and starts to cry. Rick gets back on his bike and wipes his tears away. Rick cycles down the road. Rick stops at a house. Son of a bitch! He goes inside the house. He sees there that his family is not there. Nothing. Clang! Rick is hit in the head by... Hit in the back of the head with a shovel. Dad! Jesus shit, son. What did you do? He was gonna try to eat us, Dad. No, son. This man is alive. Oh! Grab his feet. Help me get him inside. Rick wakes up. Huh? Oh, you're awake. We're just getting ready to have dinner. Would you care to join us? Wait, 
What the hell's going on here? Oh, sorry about my boy. He hit you over the head of a shovel. Huh? What are you talking about? He thought you were one of those things. Things? You mean those monsters? They're at the hospital? Who the- Who are you people? What the hell's going on? Whoa, whoa. Calm down there, buddy. This is all just a misunderstanding. My boy didn't mean nothing. How did it all happen? What went wrong? Wait a minute. Hold up. Damn, son. You don't know about any of it? I was shot. I woke up in the hospital when I was attacked. I came home. My wife and kid were gone. The whole damn town was deserted. I didn't know what the hell was going on. You say nobody knows what caused it? All media shut down after a few weeks. I haven't heard much of anything after that. They found a way to stop it. They haven't made it here yet. Those things are everywhere. A good blow to the head will take him out. That's why the boy whacked you for a shovel. Nothing much else seems to phase them. Any, anytime one wanders onto the yard, we take care of it. We try to keep quiet. They'd come after us if they knew we, we was here. Because they stopped broadcasting, they told us to relocate to the bigger cities. They said they could protect us all there. I figured it'd be better off taking my chances here. My in-laws live in Atlanta. That's only a five-hour drive from here. That's probably where the, my wife went. Thank God. They're protecting the cities, man. I was so worried. Oh yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Well, I need a car. If I'm going to get to Atlanta. Want to go shopping? You're a cop, huh? Yep. I figured you for a hunter after you said you got shot and all. You being a cop, you don't mind my boy and I taking residence in your neighborhood, neighbor's place, do you? I'm not going to arrest you, that's what you mean. Most of the houses on the street have been looted. You seem to be fixing the place up. The Thompsons will probably thank you when they get back. As long as you don't put up a fire over the place. It's not like we're stealing the, it's not like we're stealing the place. Your neighborhood just seems safer. We don't figure that we're hurting anybody by standing there. In my book, that makes it okay. You don't have to justify anything to me. You're keeping your son safe. I'm already sick about mine. I understand. I appreciate that. You know, I don't think I got your name. Rick. Officer Rick Grimes at your service. And you? Oh, Morgan Jones. And this here is Lil Dwayne. You're a good man, Morgan. I really appreciate you driving me over here. You helped me out a lot. It's worth it just to get to talk to somebody. If it ain't about cartoons or passing gas, my boy don't want to talk about it. Eh. Damn. After everything I've seen today, I feel guilty for laughing. Hey man, it's okay. You've seen some crazy shit out there. We all have. You can't let it get to your head. Get to you. You just gotta keep going. You can't stop to think about it or you'll go crazy. Yeah. What's up with that? Oh, this... I figure I might as well bring a few along, just in case. Speaking of which, follow me. I just need to find the rock key. Here we are. Wow. Grab a couple of yours for yourself. If whacking these things over the head with a shovel does them in, I'm sure these things will work. Should save you some effort. The shells are in the cabinet below the gun rack. Make sure you save some for me. I'll be right back. Can I? No, damn it. Don't touch anything. But I'm old enough. Yes, you are. And I'm going to teach you how to use one of them tomorrow. But until then, they're off limits. Are, are there enough shells for both of us in there? Well, that getup certainly suits you. I keep a spare uniform in my locker. I figured if I was going into a big city and they got a ton of people holed up there, I could get around easier being a cop, so I might as well look the part. Grab what you're getting and follow me out back. I got another surprise for you. You take that one on the left. It doesn't run as good as the one I'm taking, but it'll run better than that hatchback you're driving. If I'm going to make it all the way to Atlanta, I'm going to need to going to need the newer one. Wait, what? You'll be safer in one of these things if you need to go anywhere. But ah, uh, don't sweat it, man. I'm just doing my job. I can't think of a better way to protect and serve under the circumstances. Things get back to normal, you have to give it back, so try not to bang it up 
or put too many miles on it. Thank you, Rick. I can tell you how much this will help us. You've already helped. Clink. What was that? Look out! <coughs> the walker on the fence. <coughs> Rick aims his gun at it. No! Leave it be. It can't get to us in here. You may need that boy later. Yeah, you're right. Better get to these cars out of here before it makes its way around to the gate. I'll see you around. Of course. We're neighbors. Keep an eye on my house for me. Will do. Morgan leaves in the car. Rick leaves and locks the gate. Rick stops. Stops on the road. He goes back to the... Goes back to the walker next to the bikes that was next to the bicycle. <coughs> Rick shoots in the head. Rick rubs his tears away, then gets back in his car and drives off to the distance. That was The Walking Dead issue number two, one, not two, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, okay, I think that went pretty well. If you liked it, uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Um, issue number two, it should probably come up. Pretty much after this, since I probably will, I'm definitely gonna do the next issue after this. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more.